Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. This video is a second in series dealing with the group policy client services problem on Windows machines. The first video was using Windows 7 machine and the solution presented there was successfully working for most of Windows 7 and Windows 8 installations. But some people encountered problems applying instructions from my first video because the difference in registry settings. So I created this video which uses Windows 8.1 64-bit operating system and here I will show you the signs of the problem and the steps you need to take to resolve it. Please note that the problem demonstrated here was created artificially. It never happened to me on Windows 8.1 but I witnessed it on Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Many people reported this problem happening on Windows 7 Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. It seems to happening on both 32-bit and 64-bit systems um, with the same rate. My research shows that the problem goes back to Windows Vista. In most cases the problem appears after failed or crashed Windows updates process. Blue screen of death is also associated with the problem in several cases. So let's take a look what actually happens. Symptom number one, non-administrative user cannot log in into the system. Here I'm trying to log in as a non-administrative user and the system is not letting me in with this message. Windows could not connect to the group policy service. Please consult your system administrator. The only options you have is to press OK button. Symptom number two. Administrators presented with an error message complaining about failure to connect to a Windows service. Here I'm logging in as an administrator and you have to go to the desktop view to see the error. It may take a little bit of time but here we go. That's an error. As you see, it says Windows couldn't connect to the group policy client service and this problem prevents standard users from signing in. And symptom number three, group policy client service is not running. The easiest way to check if the service is running or not is to press the Windows key on the keyboard and R key simultaneously. This will bring the run command and you have to type services.msc there and press OK button. This will bring the services window which will list all the services which are running on your computer. Scroll down to find the group policy client service and look in the status column. As you see here, the status is blank that means that the service is not running. Now let's fix the issue and to do that you will need to run the program called Registry Editor which will help you to alter some internal parameters of Windows. To run Registry Editor you will need to press Windows key and R key at the same time on your keyboard which will bring Run Window again. This time, instead of services.msc, we will need to type in regedit and press OK key. Windows will ask us for rights elevation because registry editor is a system program. So you just press yes here. And we have Registry Editor opened. I will quickly collapse all the branches to show where we need to go first. Now we need to go to HKey Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Services. And in services branch, we will need to find GPSVC folder. Make a note of the name of the folder, GPSVC, and the very important variable called image path. Note that the last parameter in image path variable 
is net SVCS. In my previous video, you will see that the parameter was different. It was GP SVCS. And here is the quick view of the previous video screenshot. As you see, in Windows 7, it was GP SVC group. So many people were asking, what should I do if it's not GP SVC group, but net SVCS? So here we go. Back to Windows 8.1, and we have net SVCS as a parameter. All right, we have finished with GPSVC folder. Remember the name GPSVC. Let's collapse all the folders on the left. Uh, go back to each key local machine, and this time to software key. Not the system, but software. Find Microsoft folder. Scroll down almost to the end to find Windows NT folder and current version in Windows NT and again almost to the end to letter S to SVC host folder. The SVC host folder contains subfolders as well and as you see the subfolders has corresponding values on the right hand side in the SVC host. You see the values here on the right side has corresponding folders on the left. Not all of them, but most of them. Specifically, we're looking at an net SVCS, and this is the value, multi string value net SVCS, which was the end of our image path variable, and this is the folder of net SVCS with some specific values which are supposed to run the service. So let's go back to the SVC host and take a look what's the content of net SVCS variable. For that we double click on that variable and it will open this window with a list of all the services which are started by uh, net SVCS. As you see there is no GPSVC value. Remember that folder we were looking in the first place? That is missing right here. That means that GPSVC or Group Policy Client Service is not going to run. All we need to do is just add a value here. So we just put GPSVC and I do it after landman server. I don't believe it's important where exactly GPSVC is on the list, but to be on the safe side, you can do it after landman server as well. Now, when you edit the NetSVC list, you by accident may enter a blank string somewhere in the list, and that will cause this error message when you click OK button. This is just a warning message saying that your empty strings will be removed. And as you see right here, if I click OK and then come back to the values, the empty strings which I entered are gone. So it's just a warning ma message. If you get that, don't worry about it. There might be a situation when you have net SVCS value on the right side, but no net SVCS folder on the left side, like here. In this case, you will need to create everything uh, from scratch. To do that, right click on SVC host folder, select new, and click on key. A new folder will be created and we will call it net SVCS. Now let's go back to SVC host folder, hit F5 key to refresh and bring net SVCS in order. So that's our new folder, uh, net SVCS, and we will need to create values here. And to do that, we position our mouse in the blank space, right click, select new, and D word 32 bit value. And here is a little side note. Uh, many people were asking if uh, they need to use 64-bit value if they're running 64-bit 
operating system? The answer to this question is no. You still need to use the word value, which is 32-bit value. Uh, because architecture of operating system in this particular case is not applicable. It's not the architecture we are making. We're making the value, this, the, the variable, and the variable size is 32 bit. Now we create the uh, new value and we name it initialize security param. and we make the value of 1 for this variable. So now we repeat the same thing, create the word value, but now we name it coinitialize security allow low box. And again we assign the value of 1 for this value. And the last and the third variable is going to be D word as well and the name will be authentication capabilities. Here we go. And we need to assign a special value for that. It's not just one but in hexadecimal it should be 3020 make sure that it's in hexadecimal well now we can close the registry editor and reboot our computer for the changes to take effect so let's wait a little bit. Here we go. The computer is back up. I'm going to log in as administrator again. And once I log in, I go to the desktop. Just let's wait a little bit for the message to appear. I'm pretty sure it will not appear. Well, but the best way to check for the service running is to go to the services uh, panel and uh, again search for the group policy client service. And as you see in the status column, we see it running. All right, this is it. Uh, this concludes my second video on the problem with group policy client services. Sorry if it turned out uh, a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I was trying to make it a bit more detailed than the first video to help you better in resolving your problem. As always, I will be happy to hear from you, so don't hesitate to give me your feedback and leave your comments for this video below. Thanks for watching again and have a wonderful day.